So we come to number five. Uh, five added on to the eight form, took the eight brocades, and then we've added another 18 on it. Um, just like 26 moves this, might add another nine on that. But again, <clears throat> so this would be like the 13th move of this whole sequence, okay? Or it'd be like the fifth one of the 18 form. Don't worry about it. Again, they're all in numbers. Just go through the numbers if you want, or just do them singular. Also, we're doing the breathing with each one. And this helps the liver, gallbladder, and the pericardium. Um, within the traditional form, that you're going down the organs and the meridians that benefit with each exercise. Um, we're not doing that. We're, I've done that in other videos, we're going to go down just with the yogic breath and the Pilates breath because these are such good motions, so you can't miss them. Um, <clears throat> and again, yoga and Pilates, you know, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be a yogic position or a Pilates position because you take them into whatever you do. Um, again, Pilates, you would take into whatever you do, gardening, you know, lifting the box, you'd be gathering, zipping up and hollering. Not saying you're doing that the whole time. Um, you'd be... If you want to relax, you're doing the meditative breath. But if you're doing the Pilates breath, then say you're picking up something, then you're going to throw in this corset muscle, which we're going to go into now. So this one is the first of the fire out names. It's called the Back Swinging Monkey, or just Rolling rolling Arms. I like that better. Um, again, it's a bit of a different complex motion. Um, so we're going to go straight into the breath. Nature's rule, not mine, is to get our balance before we start and find the breath. So we're going to go with the Pilates set up and zip up pelvic floor and scoop out the abdominals. Take the navel towards the spine and that's going to engage our corset muscle. Okay, and as you do that, you'll feel that breath coming naturally into these lower lobes of the lungs. You want to sort of be a bit more specific with that. Get the two middle fingers touching underneath the xiphoid process here, the sternum, palms on the lower lobes of the lungs. And you'll see this happening, I'm overemphasizing there. These middle fingers coming out to the sides and back. As you do that now, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, take the navels towards the spine. Breathe in for the nose, and then we close the mouth and breathe out for the nose. And that's gonna make that a little bit yogic. You can take the hands away there, and just relax, especially on that out breath. Now, the yogic breath is generally in and out for the nose, unlike the Pilates breath, where you're breathing for the nose and exhale through pursed lips to sort of fire this corset more. <clears throat> the corset is the transverse abdominus and the lumbar fascia fascia to an up around the back. You have to know that. This is that natural corset, three layers deep we're getting by zipping up pelvic floor right now, scooping out your abdominals, Breathing in through the nose and exhaling out through the nose. Now again, you'll feel that natural wanting to elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay, the breath, both breaths will be longer by filtering the breath in and out through the nose. Okay, smaller filter through the nose, that helps us lengthen the breath longer and especially that out breath. Okay, the in breath conscious thought, the out breath subconscious thought. So that's like yogic breath, cleansing breath there, or basic yogic breath with a Pilates set up, nearly sort of ashtanga ish breath. Again, I digress there, but again, it doesn't matter. So just go with the breath, be the breath, be within your breath. In and out for the nose as you simply zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. Allow that simplicity to relax the mind as you allow that out breath to fall longer than the in breath, okay? Allowing that to fall longer than the in breath. The in breath is conscious thought, the out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending that out breath longer than the in breath, we're just encouraging sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation. As you do that now, you'll feel the breath coming in and out through the nose at will. Okay, allow the breath to roll in and roll out through the nose as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out the abdominals. Now again, that elongated out breath will naturally want to fall longer than the in-breath. You can make that longer. Just look to 
mentally and consciously make that longer. Not force anything. The in breath conscious thought, the out breath subconscious thought. A bit like seven eleven breathing, or it could be five and eight. Just making the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay, it's your breath. Okay, so lovely. So with that. If you want to take it on further now, you can right now grip the esophagus as you still zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, breathe in through the nose, and it's like a and exhale. Turn that into ujjayi breath. It's a bit more advanced breath. If you can't get it, don't worry. Just keep on working with the breath. Okay, breathing in through the nose. And exhale out for the nose. Again, as you can hear, it's a raspy, silky, whistling ujjayi breath. Okay. Again, seashore breathing. That helps us stimulate the thyroid glands, which helps with weight control, etc. It helps us build the heat and fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. Okay, so right now as you do that, try and get that ujjayi breath. If you can't, just carry on breathing out through the nose as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals right now and elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. If you can get this grip in its esophagus, it's up. And exhale. Sometimes you hear people doing that, it's trying to, they're trying to focus on something. Uh, might be sort of trying to thread a needle or something. That sort of focusing breath, a natural thing they do about in thinking about, but that's what it does. Gives us that focus, gives the mind something to focus on within the breath, and even helps us elongate that, that breath longer than the in-breath. Okay, both ends, in and out, but especially the out-breath, that's our aim. Okay, that's gonna get us into these postures even easier. Helps us even get that stretch even longer. So again, a bit of a funny motion here, I'm gonna do it here, you're gonna just so massage your beach ball and come in this way. Again, this stretching, opening out the chest is good. Here, back, and open out the chest. Now again, that will also help the pericardium, heart lining, and the lungs, the heart, and you open out that chest. Watch that heart extension. Really easy to happen there, it's just jam the back, gather in, keep the spine neutral. Don't hyper extend the back. Okay, you want to just keep the spine neutral. Okay, again, here, keep attention at shoulders and exhale. Push away the walls, feel that stretch, your little pinkies. It's a. Uh... Keep your shoulders down, breathing in and exhale. Again, this is optional if it's a big ball or small ball. Again, I wouldn't put it too, too much so these upper traps take over because they're overactive in most of us. 90% of us, it's overactive. So, again, it's a... Open out the chest, and it's a... Breathing in here, and exhale, elongate on this bit. Now again, if you want to bring the foot motion to save the knees, you can do this. Again, it's a little bit of a pivot here as you come round, turn here. Come back to center, but as if there's a skewer through your head, you turn up that skewer and you exhale in. So I'm gonna come back here, so it's a exhale. It's a breath in here, exhale, open out that chest. And all the organs in the chest, the heart, the lungs, the pericardium, it's a. You can make a little pivot on this foot, you can do that. Okay, on the toe, that save the knees. So it's a... Keep your shoulders, hands down. We'll have them above the shoulders, in line with, or slightly lower. And keep the tension out of the shoulders. It's a... Breathing sharper there, and exhale. As I come closer, you can just breathe in here, turn off that skewer, and exhale, open out the chest. Really elongate the out breath. Again, that's gonna help us open out this chest. Like a sort of yawn, first yawn in the morning, as we open out the chest, shoulders down, 
that stretch your little pinkies, little fingers, stretch the hands even. These get quite tight through computers, phones, etc. So it's always good to stretch these forearm flexors and exhale, open out that chest. Shoulders down, it's a, and exhale. Really elongate the out breath. Again, and simply calibrate and synchronize the breath with the motion. So that was number 13 of, or the first five of the 18 form added on to the eight form. So again, that was number five, so number 13. And you've got number 14 next, which is rowing a boat in the middle of the lake. Lovely, bang.